Yeah, still tracking a massive winter storm, one that's stretching all the way from Canada down into the Gulf of Mexico, just like the last one that came through. And just like that last one, damaging wind gusts are the biggest threat that we are likely going to be seeing throughout. But there is very good news on the max track. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. It's the line is a shell of its former self. It's breaking apart, moving into stable air, and no longer a very linear line. When you see one that, that stretches in a long I mean, amount of real estate, very, very thin like that, that's when you have the strongest of the storms. But when they start to segment off like they're doing right now, that means that they're starting to weaken, and that's what we want to see, is these storms completely weaken altogether, so it's just a little bit of heavy rain and a little bit of wind, and that's it. This is the only storm that I'm going to be really keeping an eye on in our region because it's the strongest as of now. Scott County down into Woodford, a little bit of uh, Mercer, but really this as it stretches even into Fayette County in the next hour or so, really the next 30 minutes, it should weaken even further. But that being said, a little bit of heavy rain in those areas, uh, specifically going through Versailles right now. So you can see that as the radar keeps updating, a lot of that rain is starting to come down in intensity. So you've got some heavier rain kind of mixed through the south central section and then extreme southern counties are kind of sitting right there. Cumberland getting into Clinton. Eventually that'll move into Wayne. Now the severe thunderstorm watch that was in effect has been expired. So that's good news on all fronts there, but the wind advisory will remain into effect likely through that the 10 o'clock hour. This is for everyone. It does not matter where you live, what elevation you live at. You have a chance for very strong wind gusts between now and 10 o'clock tonight as that storm is moving out. Kentucky River is high, though, and that's why we have a flood advisory in effect for Estill and Lee County at this point. Uh, Heidelberg and, and Ravenna are the two spots that, that were showing the high water, but a lot of areas around the Kentucky River are swollen that's at this point. So just keep that in mind. Watch for high water. Wind is all coming out of the south at this point, ramping up between 40, 50 miles per hour as far as gusts are concerned. But notice as the front continues to slide east, it brings all that wind with it. So by the time we're getting into the new year, wind is still pretty breezy, but it's coming down in, 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 in the strength, and that's good news. By tomorrow, the wind will be a non-existent issue any longer. Now there's your line. See how it breaks up as it crosses 75? Still segments out, maybe a few stronger storms down in our extreme southeastern counties. That's it. Everything else is cloud coverage once we get into the new year. And that's what we want to see is some calm weather as we start and kick off 2019. Maybe that's a sign of things to come. Hopefully we want to get rid of all this rain. But uh, cloud coverage will hang tough. I think the one is going to stay throughout the next few shows. But if that storm doesn't materialize in anything, we're pretty much finished with all of our threats. But that being said, there are still some chances for some damaging wind gusts out there. So just keep that in mind. If you are heading out for the New Year's Eve holiday, be safe on the roads. Very wet out there, but also very breezy, and that could cause some issues. Good news is temperatures are mild. You won't need a jacket tonight except for a rain jacket. So that's good news. Next best chance for rain comes in by the end of the week. Maybe a few flakes mixed in Friday morning, but that's it. We will keep a very active weather pattern going into next week. More news after break.